What happens when an American rock singer goes on a mission to discover the meaning of life and learn more about the world we live in? Walkway. Walkway. Holy shit, I see. Yeah, what is that? Three sitters lived here for three years to protect this forest. People sat up there? In a series of interviews that span the globe. Be human means that you have the intellectual capacity to embrace the fact that you live in a great big wide world. With the famous. And ultimately this world is going to snuff your life out. Not so famous. Revolution to me is, is more advanced. It's evolution. Take out the yard, you can put it in the yard. And the infamous. Eight years of Bill Clinton. Did I come here? Oh, jeez, come on. Look at the man was disgusting. Transcendent Television, starring Ed Hale. You know what it is? It makes you think of God. Does this seem godlike to you? Like when you see it, you think about God more? Yeah, What do you think more about? Church. Very spiritual. <laughs> you're like, dude, I'm not fucking idea what you're talking about. It's a fucking freak. What do you mean, God? Nature to some of us is so removed, or we are so removed now from nature, that it doesn't seem real to us. I mean, I looked at a creek today, I couldn't believe that I was seeing that in real life. We know that we're not going to lose the environment in our lifetime. Us here, we have like 40, 50, 60 years left in our lifetime. So, we, we don't know okay, that. The predictions they have right now are apocalyptic. Unbelievable. For our lifetime. For our lifetime. There's a really old forest in Oregon. Trees eight feet around, 300 feet tall. That's a tall tree. And the timber industry has paid George Bush a cool million dollars to cut it down. We need your help to save it. 95% of the old growth forests have been cut and replanted. Wow. So there's only 5% of the old trees left? Yes. The law of the jungle is tooth and claw. At this moment, we are the winners of the evolutionary struggle. Nature has a way of fighting back. Right, we're here in Biloxi, Mississippi. We're at what we call the Spillers House. The water and wind went completely through this building, went through the next building, broke out the glass, through the church, hit the next building behind it. That's how... The water surged from that ocean over there? From the ocean, yes. I walked away from this uh, interview with the environmentalists realizing I think they're going to lose. I think little by little we're going to lose the environment. You don't become the winner without fighting for your life, for all of your life. Species by species we had to... So there is, there is built into us an enormous amount of aggression. <laughs> of Antichrist. You just met, you met, you mentioned George Bush. Just a few minutes ago. Now you keep on using these terms. <laughs> I'm just saying, why? why? But when you say, Bush is the Antichrist and we gotta get out of it, that's not gonna impress me. Yeah. All that's gonna do is bring back memories of the days when I came back from Vietnam. I mean, to you, what? what's the big deal about same-sex marriage? It affects the entire culture, bottom up, top down. They want to hate gays. They want to hate gays now. It's easy to hate gays. They're more hateable today. It's not socially acceptable to hate people of color. It's no longer funny because this is something that the culture is being threatened with. Priesthood of the Western Catholic tradition was the biggest closet in which gay people hid through most of the ages of our world. What fundamentalism gives to people in the world today is a sense of security and certainty. That's why they get very angry when you ask questions. Now, a couple of months ago, I was in a big crowd of 100,000 people in the streets of New York protesting the Republican National Convention. Scum, scum of the earth. Okay. Scum. You guys, you guys, scum of the earth. You guys okay. were the scum of the earth okay. that week. Let's just assume that we will need revolution. Does it have to be violent? Does there have to be destruction of personal property involved? Can it really be through nonviolent direct action? And I'll tell you what I learned about social and political activism from interviewing these people. They work their asses off, okay? 
no sleep for days. They're sleeping on the floors of their offices. They're working 18 hour days. They make no money because they don't get paid for what they do because it's all voluntary, right? Because we, the American public for the most part, don't have enough sense to pay these people to defend our rights. So we wait until our rights are completely taken away from us. Then we stand around going, Ooh, what happened? And look, it's not against you or me. That's just the way we are. We've always been that way, right? It's just the way we are. Little do we know that in these little pockets all over the country are these like little groups and offices of really concerned, aware, knowledgeable people who are totally already there fighting for us. It's about organizing, and organizing is sexy. The right of the people to peaceably assemble without the government saying we can't. in generation X, where are they now? What are they up to? Are they happy? Are they disappointed? Are they disillusioned? What's going on? Remember the big promise of Generation X, like changing the world back in the 80s, and all of a sudden now, what are they doing? Resist! Resist! Something is happening. Go behind the scenes of a revolution. It's MTV. Meets PBS. This is totally crazy shit right happening here on Transcendent Television here. It's a little riot breaking out because everyone wants to express their opinion. Transcendent Television is a reality show. Let's go take, let's go take a tour around Ed's house. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah, one of his guitars, another guitar, another guitar, and there's Ed straight up. Because it's real. You have to watch that though. See what you're filming my um, okay. you're filming my crotch. Okay. See? Well, it's just your personality is too dynamic. You're too all over the place to be a cameraman. You know what I'm saying? Like, what a, you, look, yeah, cameramen again? are like this, dude. And transcendent television is about us. I I think that people pay too much attention to things that um, are important. Yeah. So I just had a song sitting around. Transcendent Television, starring Ed Hale. This is what the revolution looks like. That's the love. <laughs>